Welcome back. This is Minecraft Let's Play How To, Episode 14. I'm Punishments, and today we're going to build an automatic cow farm, or at least as automatic as it gets. So, what we got here is an eight wide hole, eight wide, eight deep, and nine long. Well, nine. Let's play. So. This spot over here will be a block, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, I placed it to where I could see it from the inside of my base. That way I can see what's going on down below. It'll be very easy to watch. Things happen. So first things first, once you get your hole dug. You don't have to have this. This could be a solid wall. I just got a glass so I can see from the inside. That could be solid. These could be all solid blocks too. It doesn't have to be glass. It's just what I like because I like to see what's going on. Let's go ahead and put trap doors all along the bottom here. Since we got it like an 8 by 8 area, 64 of them. Over here, you're gonna want blocks. Then you want this under these underneath this little channel here. So this is the ninth block. Go ahead, put stairs on top of that. Alright. Let's go ahead and get working on our water. Now, this trap door is going to make an air gap underneath the water. So, we place the water here, here. Do the basic every other one. Come back to the middle one. Got to kind of jump up to, get it, to hit right. I feel our buckets back up. So, see, it stops right here. Boom. Well, Pushes things up on the stairs. Don't worry about this. This will get closed off. So, no big deal. Just like that. I probably want to make it glass. There we go. Now right, we'll come up top. I know I already did some of this, but it's going to be eight blocks deep from this level here. So, I'm going to go not. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Alright. So you want your half slab basically right on top of the ground level. Just like that. Now this version of the farm will not cook the food. Which is what I want. So now what we're gonna do up here is make little chambers for cows. So we need to be on the third block down. I used the wrong block. No big deal. Let's go ahead and drop down. Now, if you do it right, you could squeeze probably six chambers into this area. I don't really need that much, so I might try to do that. Probably go with two, hopefully. Now, with the stairs, point at the bottom of the block so you can let your stair pointing out. Just like that. It's down here, too. Big deal. Alright. 
Now, this is not working out the way I want. There we go. Oh, where I'll be explaining this. Get things placed in here. But you want to open a hole about two blocks wide that way. Come in here. And block that in. Just like that. That's my one chamber. Now the reason we want our stairs placed like that, so when we put glass panes in here, they do not connect to the stairs, those open holes. Then on top of that, we're going to put solid blocks, just like so. Let's see, now big cows can't fall down through here, but once you breed them, the baby cows will go right down to the water. And actually, we'll be under the water because our trap doors are creating an air gap for them. So, go ahead and do that. I think what I'm going to do yeah change these out with stairs this thing start working for me the right way yes My second chamber will be over on this side. Oh. Mistakes today, I tell you. Okay. Not too worried about the corner. Probably easier if the water wasn't here, but oh well. I did that wrong anyway. Picked up and we dropped. Go back up top. Yeah, there's another chamber there. I probably didn't have to go all the way over, but this just spaces it out pretty decently. Yeah, I could probably put another one in here. Space it out over there, but I don't need that much. I mean, it's single player world. It's going to be a personal preference at this point. Build this in. Uh, I don't have enough blocks. No big deal. We got a chest full of them. just one layer this close in got a chamber here for cows and we got a chamber here for cows let's go ahead bring that up the ground level wait a minute 
since I'm trying to keep this kind of low key, we'll do big train match. Well, they want to plant something on top. Uh, out of blocks again. make the chambers the way you want them. This doesn't difficult. Put in as many as you want, as few as you want. You can make this a lot smaller. It doesn't have to be eight wide. This only has to be two wide if you really only wanted one chamber. It only had to be two wide if you really want it that way. Personal preference, like I said. But baby cows will be under the water. There's an air gap created under the water. I can show that to you if I see. There'll be baby cows under here. They can still breathe. Once they grow into adults. The water will force them over to here and up on top of the stairs. Now above your stairs. Buttons. Or you could do signs. I like buttons because they kind of blend in. Just like that, right? Just right above the stairs. So there's, so see a cow. It's two block tall, basically. So if they get on top of the stairs, there's going to be a one block air gap there. Watch going to push them over to here. It's going to be water. They're just going to float up. So whenever cows get their heads in the water, they go up. They try to go up. Let's go ahead and get this thing sorted out here. We're also going to want trapdoors at the bottom of this one. So when the water's there, it doesn't pour out over this way. This stops it here. That stops it there. So it'll just be a solid water thing right there. Just like that. So when the cows get pushed over, they go over here, and then they float up. But you're going to want all these locks to be water sources. Going up. Nothing flowing down, otherwise it pushes them down, they'll just drown. And don't fall in your hole, like I just did, like an idiot. Basically, let's hope we can, can, oh, well, come down here and do it. Oh. Oops. <laughs> little tricky, little tricky. There we go, that's what we wanted. There. Don't get frustrated with this. It just takes a little bit of time. There you go. Now we got them all the sources. You can tell because there's no, it's just still water. So you can cut back down here and use these filter buckets. <laughs> We should be able to do the rest from the top. This part. Crouch. Boom. 
Right, skip one, go to the next. Is that an infinite? Self-explanatory, just doing your water like that. You could do this with regular ice blocks uh, and break them with your hand. They'll turn into water sources. But doing it with a bucket ain't that bad. One thing I found is that when doing farms, you get pretty much used to dealing with these water source things. If you do them enough, got the half slabs keeping this, so yeah, like a half slab of water sticking up, like it can't flow anywhere. side put water sources on top of our magma blocks pull down it's in there you're only going to do it too high over here just like that now we can jump out and go on top finish this up this side is where you want. It's all flowing over. Cows will come up, get to the top, and be forced over, and then get pulled down by the magma blocks. The magma blocks will kill them. The food will not be cooked in this version. Now, what you'd have to do otherwise is have seven magma blocks. You would put campfires on top of uh, hoppers directly along that line. Then you'd put two signs above the campfires so the water, when it flows over over to here, doesn't go down and put out your campfire. So, yeah. So, two campfire, two signs to keep the water. You just want it to flow into here and then the Cows will fall down on top of campfires. It'll cook them just to get leather. And it's automatic cooker. So whichever version you want is the one you need to build. I like to have uncooked meat so I can sell to a butcher. Get emeralds. But like I said, personal preference. Just whatever you want to do. Go ahead and cover up the top. So they don't come shooting out the top. Now you can sink this down and around further to where you don't have to walk around this big wall here. But that this height pretty much put the chest right down here in my chest line. Make a little room for it, but as you can see, there's a row of hoppers. Just... Oh well. Go ahead and take a peek here. So you got your magma blocks. We had a little hopper line here. Now you can see I got my torch here. Now if I put my torch where it's going to power, power this hopper, it would lock the hopper and everything will get blocked up. So I put the torch here. So when I put... I have to go back up top to fix this, but no big deal. 
that's just my little spot here. And put a third block there. Torch is going to power the power grail. That's right here. See, so bounce off that, and boom, boom, boom. So, let's keep going. Easy squeezy. So now I'll go ahead, put my cart back in, cover this back up. Minecart will pick up whatever's on top of them and everything will get pulled down so nothing will float up because of the magma blocks and with water sources on top pull everything down. So we'll have to worry about that. Now the next thing. So this let's go ahead and take a look. So you got your trap doors, you got your air gap, you got your water sources going over to your stairs. Got this. Come up. Now you need to be careful doing this because if you go too far you'll get land over there and you won't be able to get out. So get two blocks above your half slab so the cows can go up and over and down. That's what you're looking for here. Now we can go ahead and, and we'll leave that open for now. We're gonna make little pathways here so our cows get directed into the holes. Nothing fancy, just so they can't jump up. Let's do this. You can put trap doors over your holes if you want to, but the cows usually just run right in. I've never really had much problem with it. Now we can start go get some cows. Let's make a little gap here. Drown in there. Huh. Okay. These guys are going to want to flood out. Six. You can put like up to 20 some in these holes, but the more you put in there, the more lag you're going to have. So keep it reasonable. Oh, it's a good one all the way around. All right, we can fix that. As you can see, it's kind of run right in there. Come on. Run right in there. Over here and get a few more. Let's see how many's left here. Bad. Let's take them all.
Good push, man. Works too. Just don't fall in all yourself. Come on. Ah, keep moving around. Alright. Could have made better walls, I guess. out a little bit here. I tend to do that. Both try. Oh man, come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright, got him. Got him in. Now well, that may not be exact, but it'll work. Set this stuff down. Now, this isn't an exciting farm, but it's a very helpful farm, especially for getting leather and having a ready, ready, a very ready supply of meat. Keep feeding your cows wheat every now and then, and they'll pretty much take care of itself after that. We can't get away from having to feed them, so. But you don't have to worry about pushing a button or waiting for them to grow up, then pushing a button or doing anything like that. Just let them grow up and they'll take care of themselves. No dispensers, no redstone. Besides the redstone torch for the hopper minecart, but that really doesn't count. Nothing complicated. Basically, just using water sources to your advantage. Uh, the original design for this, I'm going to put a link to the video where I got it from in the description. So I really don't want anybody getting mad about me stealing their idea. I mean, this isn't exactly the same as theirs, but uh, it's pretty close. Same basic uh, mechanics, that's all I can say. Well, I'll just go ahead and feed the ones we can. The other thing we're going to want to do is put the fence posts above their heads. Uh, that's so they don't bounce up in that way. So we're going to put water in there with them, hopefully. Hopefully, I should have put it in there first, but usually it's easier after. Now we can get rid of our little pen here. So go from the big pen down to these little holes that we just 
come over to feed them on. Go ahead and put the two fence posts over their heads like so. Now you can't fall in when you're feeding them. Just like so. Let's see if we can get the water sources in there with them. Hopefully I can. Otherwise I may have to do a little work off camera. <laughs> You can see the baby cows are live down here. They're inside that air gap, ripping a little water. That's where they'll stay until they grow up. So what we need to do is try to get the water up there somehow. May not be able to. kill these guys off. <sighs> so you essentially wanted water. We'll sit there and bounce up and down inside the water. That's all that was. So I'm going to have to fix this, but hopefully you get the idea. As you can see, we already had cows down below. Put the water in there, then put the cows in. So I'll end up like I'm doing what I'm doing. Could have swore I was able to get them before. I guess not. I don't know. You don't make mistakes, you don't learn, I guess. Like I said, we got cows down here. These are the ones, ones I killed. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and expedite the process here. All right, now. I get pushed into that stair. See that cow? He's getting pushed over. He's getting pushed over. Oh, I need to take the weed out of my hand. <laughs> it may take me a little time, but they'll get in there, I think. There they go. See? So, he comes up. Comes over. Gets pulled down. Nothing hard about it. Okay. Let's back out a little bit 
administration here. Just pushing it. Maybe. Come on. I'll go in the hole. There we go. You see that it's kind of bounce up and down like that? Just use that to keep them from bouncing up too high. Let's sit there bouncing. As if there's more of them in there, it just look, it's crazy looking. Just constantly vibrating up and down. Like I said, cows just float up, go over. Takes care of themselves. Takes them a little time to get over there sometimes. But they eventually do. Speak this guy up. He's kind of just chilling. If I can expedite the process here. <laughs> yeah, he's in there now. Is he turning the back out? <laughs> Alright, but anyway, like I said, put the water sources in there first, up your glass, and then they'll sit there and bounce. As you can see, I can't feed all these cows because they're all muddled together. Since bedrock doesn't have entity cramming, you can't use that method, so it's kind of the Best method I found. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link to the video, the original design that I seen from another creator in the video. Uh, he may drown, even if they drown. Either way. I'll put that link in the description so you guys can check that out if you want. Yeah, his design was a lot more compact. I kind of made it bigger. Mine's a little bit more lag friendly. His, uh, when I built his originally, I did it piece for piece. I had a little issue with lag on PS4. Uh, like I said, I haven't had lag issues on PS5, so. There, we'll just stick him in there. Yeah. And my car takes care of that. All you gotta do is open his chest and you got all your leather and meat. Might have to cook the meat later on, but it's fine with me, but I'd like to be able to sell it for emeralds if I need to. So that's the farm. Like I said probably you can make it a bit big or small as you want. You know, it really has to be too wide going lengthwise. And it doesn't have to be this long. You don't have to have the big water stream. You could have the stairs being over here more. So it doesn't have to be this big. Just how I did it. Find what works for you, and that's the way to do it. Because you're the one that has to deal with it. So, hope this is helpful. Hope everyone has a great day. I will see you next episode.